Hi, I'm Ariana with Fresh Pair of Eyes. How are you guys? Good. How are Good. you? Good. Nice to see you. It's nice to see you. Um, so in the first couple of episodes this season, you deal with the heavy topic of race. Why did you decide to start talking about it early on? And how did you go about depicting in the way that was appropriate for your audience? Well, we uh, we started writing the episodes in 2020. Uh, and there was a real hunger in the writer's room to try to really, you know, address what we were seeing in the real world, uh, especially in the wake of George Floyd. Um, um, but we went about it. Uh, we wanted to be careful to make sure that we got it right. And so um, we had a lot of consultants really uh, helping us through to make sure that we handled it sensitively and, and properly. So you have a new cast this season. Why did you guys decide to change it up a bit? Uh, well, I mean, I would start by saying we loved the original cast and uh, they were wonderful actors and uh, kids. But uh, our story is, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's a mystery. And by the time we got to the end of those first two seasons, that mystery had been pretty well resolved. And rather than trying to invent new ways to prolong it, we thought we had um, uh, more flexibility if we could start with a new mystery and a new cast, and particularly with the kind of social issues that we were hoping to address in the new season, a, a new cast uh, would just be necessary to make those things happen. So that that's pretty much the, what went into it. What was your favorite scene to see come to life this season? Well, I remember being in the writer's room talking about this Wizard of Oz um, story and that there was going to be a a big climax involving the wicked witch and the tin girl and the cowardly lion in the pool in a swimming pool uh i was uh, fortunate to be in the writer's room and was also you know, on set when we directed and I, I could tell right when we were talking about it in the room that this would be an, a a really exciting um uh scene to shoot and in that same episode there's also kind of a very tender and emotionally disarming heart to heart between Nia, the main character who was racially profiled in the first episode and her mother, uh, as they sort of process this experience together and finally open up to each other. And I knew between, and I think that really encapsulates what's great about the show where you have lots of fun, crazy adventure, and then, um, intimate, important family conversations. I mean, I would agree yeah. with all of that. The other one I was excited to see, because I love the book so much, is The Mouse and the Motorcycle. And I couldn't wait to see, after looking at the drawings and discussing exactly the type of motorcycle it should be, <laughs> I really want to see that little mouse riding around in the tunnels. <laughs> yes. What's a book that you guys haven't explored yet, but you think would be great for the show, if, you're, if you can share? Hmm. That's a great question. That's a great question. There's so many. We've gotten answered, the, asked the same question so repeatedly. It's uh, it's good to get a curveball here. Um, I would say, uh, I, I like the Lorax. Anything by Dr. Yeah, Seuss, yeah, yeah. I would love. Yes. <laughs> and why do you think this show, it's been around for quite some time in different iterations. Why do you think it is kind of like a timeless children's TV show? Well, I think is it, it, first of all, I think it, it uh, is relatable to kids. It doesn't talk down to kids. Um, and that I think there's a tremendous amount of fun um, with the mystery and kids wanting to try to figure out the mystery um, because all the clues are there. We don't cheat anybody. So I think that there's a certain amount of um, being invested along with our characters as we go. Um, and then in, in this iteration, of course, the fun of having all of these characters and CGI coming to life, um, I think is really exciting. And, and I would say just to give credit where credit's absolutely due. And, and that first, um, the first iteration in the nineties was one of the, um, one of the first kids shows that really had a, a meaningfully diverse cast, uh, at a time when that was like pretty rare. And I just remember when I was working on the reboot, I just had so many friends saying how much that original um, 
uh, show meant to them in terms of representation. Um, th this kind of stuff, thankfully, is is less um, uh, less unusual now, but uh, that that show certainly led the way. Yes. Well, thank you so much for taking the time thank to talk you. to me. Congrats on this season, and looking forward to future ones. Thank you so much. Thanks so much.